What's up guys? I'm John the Potter and today we are making custom state mugs. <laughs> that I used to work at, uh, they are commissioning me to make some custom Wisconsin state mugs that say North Star Camp. We have to throw 40 mugs and then we gotta get the Wisconsin shapes cut out and the letters all put in. It's a big order. I've done little orders like this and for some potters this is like every day in the studio, but for me this is a big one. Let's get to it. So we got all mugs thrown. Now we are going to be working on the Wisconsin shapes. So we gotta first get slabs ready so that we can get those Wisconsins cut out and put on. slabs made and uh, now we're gonna take this nice shape of Wisconsin so that we can get those pieces of clay cut out and then we'll also have to imprint these letters in there say North Star Camp so I have there's the North Star so I'm gonna take them home to my wife so she can help me since this is a big order uh, my amazing wife Elise will help me we'll see you at home to cut out the Wisconsins. in the studio and these are all the mugs we got it's snowing pretty good outside so we're gonna call it a day for today but we'll be back to finish these mugs tomorrow boom we're back in the studio today to start putting some handles on these mugs we got all the Minnesota's cut out letters on now we just got to get handles on these mugs which some of them are still a little too wet some of them are gonna, we're gonna start doing some though get some footage of that let's do it
right now we are putting handles on and putting Wisconsin's on. So first I scratch that side up. When you scratch the clay, that makes it really stick to each other. Sometimes when you stick clay to other pieces of clay, it has a tendency to not want to stay. So you gotta figure out ways to make it stick. And the way that I do it is I scratch it up first, then I put slip, which is liquefied clay, on the one piece of clay. So the closer that these two pieces of clay can be in terms of consistency, the more likely it is to that the clay will adhere. There we go. Nice North Star camp on there. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm gonna split this video up into a couple different videos just because the process is so long. I really did wanna make it into like one video, but I think I'm just gonna make it into like two different videos. So this is kind of the making of it, and then we're gonna do one once it comes out of the bisque kiln about the glazing process. Subscribe for regular videos. Hit the bell button to get notified when I post more. If you guys have any ideas for other videos, leave them in the comments. Let me know. Back with more videos. Thanks for watching.